Hey guys, welcome to the next video in the Mac script video series. And today we are going to save the Mac script files as external files on the hard disk and load it up again in the Mac script editor. So I have the function called create teapots in the Mac script editor window, and I'm going to go to file and click on save. So this opens up the save file dialog box where we can give a nice name to the file. Let's say create teapot functions and it'll save it as .ms by default. We have two options, MS is Mac script and MCR is macro. And we will just click the save button. So now we can close the tab by clicking the middle mouse button on the tab itself. And we will now open the same file. So we go to file and click on open. And then we select the same file, which is create teapot functions.ms. And there we go. We have the same function create teapots, which is what we are going to evaluate now. So now that we have evaluated, we see like about five teapots with different Y colors in the X axis. And it is evaluated because we ran the create teapots function on line number 15. So we can still select the create teapots function and run it multiple times. Right now we have about five teapots and now we have about 35 teapots. So I have run this code about seven times. And you can see only five teapots because all the teapots are right now overlapping each other. This is because the function is set to create same teapots with the same scale at the same position. So that is it for the video guys. You can now save and share your Max file with your friends and load it up in another Max instance. Thank you so much for watching.